I'm Brittany Valdez, and today I'm gonna to be making chicken carbonara. The first thing that you have to do is boil a pot of water, salted water to be exact. And while that's boiling, add a little bit of oil to your pan. One of my favorite parts of this recipe is the Italian bacon, the pancetta. So making sure that you have some time to brown this is really important. So now that the pancetta is browned, um, I just added two teaspoons of garlic. I think we're ready to add our spaghetti to the boiling salted water. Exploring recipes and trying new things is always really fun. So this was kind of like that first step into trying something different in my household. So it always brings back wonderful memories of just bringing everybody together and trying new things. While we wait on that, we can make the actual sauce. This is so easy, so delicious, so creamy. Two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. The flavor is just really great when it's heavy whipping cream. <laughs> Growing up, my mom did most of the cooking and she cooked pretty much every single day of the week. When I stepped into this role into motherhood, that was something that I really struggled with. If I didn't feel like I had a home cooked meal hot and on the table for my family every single night that I was feeling as a mom, I really had to like soul search and make new memories and new traditions. So I really like dug in and thought, okay, what was the exciting part? What is the things that I can remember as a child when sitting down at the dinner table with my family? It was really the time that we spent together. I get emotional um, because it's been just a difficult time um, with COVID, not being able to have people um, come over like you know we used to but having those moments really just built my childhood and I wanted to pass that on to my kids. So this is one fourth cup of fresh basil, thinly sliced basil leaves for the whipping cream, and I do a fourth cup of parsley. All you have to do now is put them in the whipping cream. You're gonna whisk them together with egg yolks. You're gonna need eight egg yolks. Usually I have my kids help me crack the eggs. I want to crack the eggs. I want to crack the eggs. Okay. No, you said you wanted to do this. When I found out that I was pregnant with my first son, I was very overwhelmed having to choose between work and motherhood. I didn't think that I could do both. And I actually quit my job. Two months into me being pregnant, I get a LinkedIn email. Microsoft is looking for a community development specialist for the Microsoft store in Miami. I go through the job interview. It sounds like the perfect job and I'm really torn. I remember telling the manager, listen, I don't know if I can accept this role because I'm my due date is in July and I just don't know if I can balance it. And he said, you're the perfect person for this role. And you, if you sign this job offer, we're gonna support you in your role at, at the workplace and motherhood and both. And for me, it really opened my eyes to a possibility of like, maybe I could do this. It's been seven years that I've been a mom and working for Microsoft and it's not easy every single day. My son just ran into our sprinklers outside and he's soaking wet. Why don't you guys sit right here? Yeah. Where are my chefs? Right here. Now it's to whisk it all together. So I'm gonna give you the whisk and while mama talks, you whisk it up. So what do you think we're missing? If we have the cream and we have the bacon and the garlic, what are we missing for chicken carbonara? Chicken. Oh, the chicken. You can buy a whole chicken already made. Are you it in there? And you just shred it. Oh, no, so I we're gonna pop the it. chicken in here and no. get it nice and warm. No. You guys were really good helpers. Thank you, my babies. So in 2015, um, I started a nonprofit called The Mom Economy. And The Mom Economy basically brings women together from all different walks of life. One of my favorite programs that we do is called Shop Mom. We featured over um, 62 mother-owned businesses and encourage people to shop um, for Mother's Day. So what better gift on Mother's Day than to actually give a gift made by a mom. So we've got everything whisked together. Chicken's already looking warm. Spaghetti is ready. Awesome. Ready to go there. And now we're gonna pop the spaghetti into our pan. 
So I just added the cream. You don't want it to curl up and become scrambled eggs. You still want to keep that cream consistency. Two more minutes on medium, and then we're ready to serve. So I worked from home for the last two years. I just didn't work from home with two kids and my husband in the same house. <laughs> I was a little bit worried. If you structure your week and focus on one thing at a time, that's what's helped me. So once your pasta is all mixed together with the chicken and everything, you're gonna put a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese just right on top. This makes it delicious. So we put some walnuts in a Ziploc bag and we smash them really good. This adds like a little crunchy taste to it. And then the last but not least is the lemon zest. Good, two, three, four, five, and six. Good job. What does it smell like? Good. <laughs> and that's it. That's our family chicken carbonara. Being a mom has improved my work in many ways. I am not fearful of anything. Being a mother has given me so much courage. Um, having to do that for my kids every single day to be strong and just inspiring them. My son actually told me the other day that he can't wait for when he can start working for Microsoft. And it really um, inspired me because I know that he sees how much I enjoy working that he one day can do that too.